Jason Bateman's role, we felt it was really, really important that we cast an actor who really feels like a, an everyman, that is a very, very relatable actor. Well, I think what makes movies compelling to an audience and what makes movies compelling to me is can you put yourself in them? And that goes, that really is true for genre movies just as much as it is, as it is for dramas. When I was, a scary movie is scary is if you can sell the idea that there are extraordinary circumstances that seem like could actually happen, you've got an effective horror movie. And I think Joel's movie, um, though, like, like we were talking about, is not, is not a traditional horror movie. What's really, really effective about it, and we talked a lot about how we would sell the movie once it was finished, is, uh, is the idea that everything seems very relatable and it seems like Jason could be you or Rebecca could be you. And I think that that's one, of, and that really draws you into the story and it makes it, um, you know, all the more, all the more delicious when things start going badly. Bullying is what later on in the movie we're going to find out um, happened uh, between Jason's character and Joel's character, and there's some version of bullying. I think one of the things about bullying that um, that uh, that is interesting is um, everyone's versions of the events of bullying are always very different, more different than other things that you might describe. Um, one person's bullying is another person's we were just playing and just having fun. And I think that's one of the reasons why bullying is such a... Uh, is such a complicated thing, and at the time, what what is what can seem fun to both sides, or or kind of all in play, as time goes by and you look back on what happened, it gets more and more. You realize more and more how brutal it is, either psychologically or physically, and that's a lot of what uh, what's going on in the movie. And sometimes it's so brutal that you, the only way, especially kids, can get over it is to pretend it's not, it hasn't happened, and um, that's probably the worst thing to do. And I think eventually that that shows itself in other ways in people. As we move through the course of the story, it turns out that uh, none of what you think at the beginning is true. <laughs>